I'm Adam Dillon, Airport Planner with the North Dakota Aeronautics Commission. Uh, a little background on myself. Um, I had a passion for aviation since I was little, and I went to school at UND Aerospace. Uh, originally to be a commercial pilot. Got my pilot's license, but then I realized that uh, I was more interested in the airport side of things, and so I got a degree in airport management. Spent about 10 years on the East Coast working at a couple of commercial airports, doing uh, airport operations, firefighting, and security, and then I uh, kind of made a natural shift a couple of years ago here to the North Dakota Aeronautics Commission, where I do some kind of the similar things on a higher level. Okay, I'm Nels Lund, airport planner for Western North Dakota. Adam covers Eastern North Dakota. Uh, I was always fascinated with aviation as a kid. Um, never flew a lot and went to a fly-in breakfast um, at a local airport in my area. Um, but never really flew a lot as a kid. Was always interested in traveling and flying. Um, that really took off, I'd say, in college when I was working for the airlines, uh, loading planes, cleaning planes, uh, ticketing passengers, loading bags, uh, things like that. And that really opened up my eyes to the aviation industry. And I was already going to school for civil engineering, so um, I just kind of married those two paths and uh, became an airport engineer for a few years and did that. And now I'm an airport planner with North Dakota Aeronautics Commission. Uh, to give you an idea about uh, aviation in general and airports in general, um, most people don't realize it, but there are many airports in the United States. There's actually almost 20,000. Um, in North Dakota, we have uh, 89 public airports that you can fly in if you have an airplane. Uh, there's eight commercial airports and there are 200 private airports, which would be uh, your little local strips, your, uh, your farm strips that you could fly into. Um, the way that the, uh, the airspace system works, uh, the aviation system works, is that uh, on the local level, your local city would, have, uh, would operate and own the airport. And on the federal level, you have the Federal Aviation Administration, that's the branch of government, that uh, creates kind of a standardized set of rules for the whole country. Um, in the middle, you have us at the state level, and every state takes responsibility for their individual airport systems, um, and that's where we come in. North Dakota Aeronautics Commission is the uh, agency that exists in North Dakota. Um, we have a variety of duties. Um, we, uh, we register aircraft just like cars are registered at the state level. Um, we provide grant funding, which is very important, especially for our smaller airports that can't qualify for federal money. Um, we provide a variety of publications of different types. Um, including handy reference guides to all the airports in the state. And uh, we have uh, educational programs. We work with uh, local schools to try to foster a, a love of aviation for kids and then to try to keep that love alive for adults. Uh, we have a program called the Passport Program where pilots fly around to all the airports in the state. And if you go to all of them in the, uh, the museums, then you get a uh, really nice leather jacket. Um, one of the most important things that we do at Aeronautics is we do airport inspections. Nels and I spend a good deal of time in the summers uh, flying around. We use the aircraft here behind us. The agency aircraft allows us to go a lot faster than in a car. And uh, we fly to all the airports. We, um, we fly around them. We take lots of photos. Um, and then we land, go up and down the runways, look at all the buildings. We look to see if the, the airport's safe. It's being operated in a safe and proper way. So in order to make those projects happen, um, we work at a variety of levels. We work with your local city. We work um, with um, the state legislature. We even work with members of Congress if we need to, uh, to make these projects happen. And then once the projects are underway and being constructed, then we monitor those projects, we check in on them, and uh, then we help uh, create solutions if they run into problems along the way. Uh, and these projects are very big. They, they involve a lot of people, a lot of money, and so it's very important to plan them out very carefully. It takes a lot of effort, often years in advance. And that's, uh, that's one of the main things that we do. And so to cover that part and give you an idea of how planning works, I'll pass it off to Nelson. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, you hit it right on the head, Adam. Um, basically what planners, also engineers, architects are, we're problem solvers. If there's congestion at an airport, planners and engineers try and figure out that congestion and solve that problem. And they come up with an airport layout plan like this here. Um, and that gives the best uh, layout for the airport and for future development up for up to 20 years plus. Um, and this here is an example of a terminal layout sheet uh, to give the best layout of an airport terminal so that aircraft can not only flow the best, but within that, the passengers can move about freely. Uh, some other things that um, engineers do, uh, they, if there's a wetland on the airport or major drainage problems, they will uh, find a solution for that and mitigate those wetlands. You can't necessarily just go ahead and drain them. 
um, you have to find an alternative so solution to be able to move those to a different location. So here in North Dakota, we're in prairie pothole country, so uh, a lot of our airports have wetlands nearby that have to be moved to a different location um, because obviously we don't want them on the airport because air wetlands attract birds and we do not want birds obviously around aircraft. Uh, another thing that um, with these projects, if, you know, if there's a problem with the pavement, if it's failing, um, engineers will design a new pavement section, such as here. Uh, here's an example of a core that's taken from asphalt. If your pavement is failing, um, you need to reconstruct the project. And when they do that, when they construct these projects, they take core samples and test them to make sure that they're meeting the requirements. Um, if you're interested in, in airfield design, um, engineering uh, is, is a good route to take. If you're more interested in doing the, the layout of an airport plan, uh, planning is a good route for you to take. Um, if you're more interested in the aesthetics and how things look, such as the interior, exterior, or terminal building, um, you may, may want to become an architect. We work with all these folks and help plan these projects out and see them through from planning, design, construction, and the close-up process. Uh, lastly, I just want to touch on uh, project financials. If you're um, interested in, in uh, the financial side of things, money, if you like to deal with money and see numbers, um, finances is, is a good uh, route to take. Um, and you can get into aviation through that too if you want to become a project manager and uh, manage these finances. Um, engineers a lot of times become project managers and see not only the planning, the design, the construction, the financial side, they kind of bring everything together and oversee all these steps from beginning to end. Um, these projects uh, can be very uh, can be very expensive. Building an airport is like building an entire city and it requires a, a lot of time and a lot of finances to make that work. Um, we just built, uh, over the course of the decade, uh, Williston Basin International Airport in Williston. Uh, the price tag on that was $270 million. That was a mix of, of federal money, state money, um, and so that was a, a really amazing achievement, one of the fastest airports built. Um, another big project that's coming up is uh, in Grand Forks. They have a $100 million runway reconstruction project, and so these are big, um, uh, big important projects that are really important to their communities, really important to, uh, to the airports and to the state, and uh, we help coordinate those, those projects from start to finish. Airport inspections. I, I really like getting out. Uh, my, I, my old jobs were in airport inspections, doing it every day. So I really like getting out there, using all the tools of the trade, and uh, just seeing airports, getting to know airports on a, on a, a local level. And I, I really enjoy that. Favorite part about my job is just seeing several pieces of the, the project come together, all the way from the beginning stages when a project is just a thought in everybody's mind when they're foreseeing a need in the future and then seeing that through the planning, the design, construction, and then through the closeout process. We get to see that whole process through where uh, with, say, engineering or planning or architecture, you may just see one of those processes through. Um, with our position as state airport planners, we get to oversee that whole process. So um, it's very interesting and uh, it's great. Aviation's great. <laughs> <laughs>